Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, I am very, very excited to see these DLC characters showing up in Jump Force that I will be playing a little bit later because your boy don't got the season pass. I apologize, I apologize. But the characters are out to fight right now for people without the season pass and I think people who have it actually can play them early which I didn't know but I wasn't really too happy about how things ended up on Jump Force in the case of it playing exactly like Xeno versus uh, overall gameplay with the getting items and stuff but that's nor here though there let's talk about this wakes up us all though um, I don't know what to really say that hasn't been said about No Game, No Life for me is... Or, No Game, No Life. Wow, I am really out of it right now. Um, for No Gun Life, I I like it a lot. And I feel like it's one of these shows that if you don't just watch it kind of like slowly but surely uh, like pace itself and do whatever it wants to do. You might lose a little... Oh, you grabbed me through it. Nice. You might lose a little bit of uh, what's going on in the background, I felt like. So, i really been focusing on it. And to think that this girl who we pretty much uh, see isn't crying, we see is kind of brave enough to walk up on this gunhead guy when adults are, you know, fleeing for their lives and whatnot... It's mind-bottling to think that everything out of this game kind of changes very quickly. Oh, he got my Rukia. It changes really quickly when you... Uh, oh, he didn't give me at all. Nice. When you see just how many people are changing in the grand scheme of... The, the main guy who is the first prisoner, prisoner or whatever... Not only does he have, like, a full body extent, like, the full body thing going on, <clears throat> where he can pretty much be a much more disastrous, like, threat to people. It shows you how f crafty and how awesome it could be for these guys to be in positions to just absolutely body you, you know? Because not only do we see that he puts himself in a position where... Not many people can actually phase him. Not many people can actually do anything to him when it comes down to him being a little girl. Even uh, even people that are, you know, superior officers that are, you know, like cops and different agents. They all know the trouble of kids and what it comes with in the grand scheme of... They, kids are one of the other things that people use for warfare that is the most dirtiest trick in the book you know like desensitizing a child to have the courage to pretty much set an attack off on somebody that they have no idea who they are or maybe they want revenge on that person but in this scheme literally it's the guy we're looking for and somehow has so much modifications to his body that he shortened himself not only didn't shorten himself he then uh put himself in a position where he is not not capable to, of being like detected as even having machine like machine parts when he's in this girl form like he looked a hundred percent human no changes no alterations and stuff like that to then all of a sudden be the same height as maybe uh one of these grown security guards or maybe taller than that from being this tiny tiny little girl absolutely nutty uh but what we learn is there's this kind of good cop bad cop vibe going on with the with the gun and this this detective that's kind of going outside of his jurisdiction like he's not supposed to be out here doing this so to see him still doing it is actually kind of crazy and knowing that we're probably going to see overall um, the end game of what this either detective's going to wind up doing or we're going to see the end of what our gunhead ends up doing and I guess we'll just know by then who actually has more um, you know who has more 
subtle things they want to set uh get done because right now the guy with all the needles and stuff we really don't know why he's doing what he's doing we just know he's uh relatively not happy with the situation of working with the gunhead guy or knowing that he's out and doing what he's doing but then to take that and for him to work together to take out this new guy because not only do they get in a pretty interesting little scuffle but we also learned that our character has really no weak points when it comes down to the uh, needles or he does and like he was saying he noticed that uh, Juzo was moving in such a mo like places to put the needles in his body so it didn't necessarily take him down then he tried to fake that he was like you know actually hurt by it so he can catch him off guard which didn't work so I don't know they're really just like one up in each other and it was pretty dope to see so I want to see now what like transpires uh, between them because like I said they kind of doing the good cop bad cop thing and because of that it also felt like uh, we could be seeing more of their like cooperative uh, like combination or something along those lines so I do look forward to seeing if that is the case and what all transpires after that but with all that being said everybody I hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be I am your boy the anime G and I definitely will talk to you in the next one because now that we know what is possible with these bodies and all these weird like extensions and stuff this guy truly has put himself in a position to be able to attack and destroy maybe anybody that is willing to let their guard down to children or even other types of you know innocents or civilian types of people and it might become one of the crazy and not only that the man had a clone of himself that was the one who caused all the commotion that was so weak that by getting touched by the gun of Juzo it broke so really really hype stuff in the case of what is to come and I look forward to talking to you guys in about it so, so let me know in the next one with that peace